Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm still up on the to as your discussants. I shall be discussing Bitcoin, which is one of the most famous coins we have in the internet. Um, I've written on Bitcoin. You can still go to um, Amazon license and get my book on Bitcoin law. I have a book in Bitcoin law that will educate you or tell you what Bitcoin is all about. But herein, I shall briefly discuss what Bitcoin is all about, if Bitcoin is legal or not. In, in other words, anything coin or electronic coin, most of them are not legal. Bitcoin is not legal. I'm sorry to say that, but that is true. Once there is no law related to anything, it means that it is not legal. So herein, Bitcoin is not legal. And in Nigeria, we don't have any law regulating Bitcoin. The law that regulates um, anything business in Nigeria will talk about CBN Act, both here, which is banking and other financial financial uh, uh, institute, and with other with other law that regulates them. Um, but the most important thing is that there's no law that regulates Bitcoin in Nigeria. There's no law that regulates Bitcoin even in the US, even in China. China ban China ban it too. The reason why they are banning it is that people will not be using it to do fraud because most people do. Some people may have good intention to open a business, but some people will have bad intention. They will just open a business in order to defraud other people. So that's the reason of them banning it. So Bitcoin is not legal. Why is it not legal or why is it illicit? It is illicit in the sense that there is no law regulating it in most of the countries. That's that most of the, some of the countries, not most, some of the countries ban their Bitcoin so that so that their their, their citizens will not be will not will not be defrauded by by the evil one or by the bad X. So that is the reason. So if you're doing Bitcoin cryptocurrency, you are on your own. So in case anything happens, you should not call because as a matter of fact, as someone is in, as a minister in a a a a, a, a legal fraternity, I've been approached for, for for I've been approached by many even a lawyer. I was saying even I've been approached by many clients asking me I should tell them about Bitcoin. How is it? How what what law says about? Even there was time a lawyer from Cameroon approached me. She was asking me that the father was defrauded in Bitcoin USA. I smiled. The only thing I did was I told her that to be sincere, that Bitcoin is not legal. I know you can sue the person if you see the person. But if you can't see it, there's nothing you can do. But you can still sue if you tell the person to, to, to refund you or claim for uh, damages and refund. Yeah, it is allowed. But the only thing, the truth of the matter is that it is not legal. There's no law regulating it. So that's the reason. That's, that's what I told the lawyer. The only thing I did to her was me to give her my book on Bitcoin, on um, Bitcoin law. She read it. She was very happy. That's what I said to date. We are very close. She likes me to the day. To, to say it as well. I said thank God. So that's that's what I'm saying. If you want to know more about this and most of countries that, that Bitcoin are not working, are not working, you can get my book on um, Amazon ebook. It's called Bitcoin Law. I still have the other one, currency um, um cryptocurrency law. So you can get them and they're printed and repeat yourself what coin is all about. Thank you.